We're going to show you how to get your Kubota BX Series mid-mount mower ready for spring. Starting out with this mower deck flipped upside down, I'm going to remove the blades to sharpen it. You need a 30 millimeter socket to remove the bolts that hold the blades on. If you don't have a 30 millimeter socket, an inch and 3 16 socket will also work. If you don't have an impact, Lay a 2 by 4 in between the blade and the mower deck to keep the blade from rotating. This is the 30 millimeter socket. You can see how the bolt fits in it. This is the inch and three sixteenth. You can see how the bolt fits in it. It's just barely loose in there. I'm going to sharpen these blades now. Now I have sharpened my blades. When I sharpen my blades, I also balance them. You can find one of these online for about five or six dollars if you want one. This one's made of metal. There are some that are made of plastic. Also, when you sharpen your blades, you want to inspect them for cracks or if your blades are in real bad shape, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and just replace them. If you don't feel comfortable sharpening your own blades, you can take the blades to the dealer and have them done. So I'll go ahead and reinstall these blades now. Don't ever use an impact to start a bolt. That's a good way to cross thread them. Now that I've reinstalled the blades, tighten them down some with the battery impact. I'm going to use a torque wrench to torque them to spec. These particular blades torque 72 to 87 is the spec in the owner's manual. With the mower flipped up, now is a good time to check the seal in the gearbox. You can see that there's no oil that has been running out of there. So everything is good. Kubota recommends changing it every two years. This one hasn't been changed yet. I just keep a close watch on it and check the fluid level periodically. Everything's wrapped up underneath, so now I'm going to flip the mower over. Go ahead and get these covers out of the way. I'm going to drain the fluid out of the gearbox now. Kubota recommends changing the fluid after 50 hours and then 150 thereafter. I change this one every two years. This is the drain plug. This is the oil level check plug. This is the plug you remove to add oil. And this is the vent. Took an old oil bottle and cut it off so it'll slide down in here so I can catch the old fluid. Need a 12 millimeter to remove the drain plug. Fluid's draining from the gearbox. I'm going to remove the vent and make sure that the vent is open. Take a piece of clothes hanger and stick inside the vent and make sure it works. Reinstall the vent now. It's a 716. Well, 
while the oil is draining out of the gearbox, I'm going to check all the hardware in the motor deck and make sure it's all tight. There's 12 millimeter nuts on this pulley. millimeter nuts underneath of the pulley. Seventeen millimeter on this adjuster. And all the way over on the left side everything is the same as what it was on the right. Twelve on the pulley. on the left side also. I'm going to reinstall the drain plug now so I can get this oil out of the way to check the gearbox mounting bolts. Seventeen millimeter bolts up top. All the bolts on the right side are 19 millimeters. And the PTO shaft is 14. The belt tensioner is 19 millimeters. Back in the fall before this deck was stored away, I removed the belt tension spring to relieve all the tension off of the belt. So before the spring's put back on, I'm going to check all the pulleys and make sure the bearings are good and there's no play in them. They all look good. With the belt still off, now's a good time to grease the pulleys also since there's not any pressure on them. You should always wipe your grease fittings off so that way you're not pushing dirt down into the bearing. You need to be using a grease that is NLDI2. I extended the drive shaft out there, PTO shaft, to wipe a little grease on the splines. So all together there's seven grease fittings on this, plus you should put a little grease on the splines on the PTO shaft. This is the 54 inch mount mower. I'm now going to remove the fill plug to fill the gearbox with oil. The gearbox takes straight 90 GL5 gear oil. I'm pumping this out of a 5 gallon bucket. And I'll pump until oil starts to come out the check plug. The gearbox is full of oil now. I'll now reinstall the check plug and the fill plug. This is a washer. You want to be sure it's on there because if not you'll have a leak. Same goes for the check plug and the drain plug. They both have washers on them. While the belt's off, you also want to inspect the pulley grooves and make sure they're clean. These don't have any rust in them and they look good. And also, you want to inspect your belt for cracks or tears. This belt looks like it's in good shape too. I'm now ready to reinstall the belt tension spring. 
goes on this hook. Anytime you're messing with a spring like this, you want to wear a pair of safety glasses, or even better yet, a face shield. Put the springs on. We want to inspect the belt and make sure the belt is in all the pulleys properly. Because if it's not, you'll eat your belt up. This one looks good, so we're ready to reinstall the belt covers. You want to periodically check these thumb screws that hold the belt covers on because they will come loose. I take them off after every moan and blow the deck off really well. Now all that's left to do is lubricate the deck wheels. There's not a grease fitting for the center anti-scalp wheel, so I remove it periodically to grease it. You don't want to tighten this down real tight because if it's too tight, the wheel won't turn. I have the deck picked up in the front now. I'm going to grease the front gauge wheels. Once the wheels picked up off the ground, they'll take grease better. A common problem on these tractors is they have an oddball size grease fitting. Now with these plastic wheels, they'll stick in your grease gun. Just like that. So what I like to do to prevent that from happening is, I use a needle point on the grease gun. You can see it has a grease fitting itself, and the grease gun just latches on to it. So now with the needle point on the grease gun, I can grease the gauge wheel and the grease fitting won't pull out. Just press the needle point into the center of the grease fitting. Pump the grease. While I'm here, now's a good time to check to make sure the wheel's on the mower tight. You need a 16 millimeter wrench and a 24 millimeter. I'll repeat these steps on the other three wheels now. If you don't want to pick your deck up on a block of wood like I did, you can wait until you reinstall it on the tractor and raise the deck all the way up and grease your wheels then. We'll check these three nuts that hold this baffle in place. Thanks for watching this video on getting your Kubota BX mid-mount mower ready for spring. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, like it and subscribe.